At the end of this media, you would have learned about the pickup and drop-off characteristics of under and over voltage relays. If more gap can be allowed between pickup and drop-off value in a logic system, AC coils can be used in relays. If that is not permissible, then pickup and drop-off values should be close enough to each other. In such systems, AC relay coil cannot be used to monitor the circuit voltage, AC. AC voltage to be monitored must be rectified into DC voltage. The rectified DC voltage is sent to DC relay coil. Most of the under and over voltage relays are of the above mentioned type. Their relay contacts respond to only two voltages. One is pickup, and the other one is drop-off voltage. Their contacts are inoperative to all other intermediate voltage between pickup and drop-off value if there occurs any voltage dip. Under voltage relays normally pick up at a voltage level higher than the under voltage set value and continue to be in energized condition under normal or operating voltage level. When the voltage to be monitored decreases, the under voltage relay de-energizes at a particular set voltage value. For example, consider an under voltage relay in which the set voltage to de-energize the relay is say 50 volts. If the voltage falls below 50 volts, the relay de-energizes and changes its contact position. But, to energize the relay, the voltage of the monitored system must raise to 1.25 times that of the set under voltage value. That is, if the system voltage reaches 63 volts only, the relay will energize. Similarly, consider an overvoltage relay with a set voltage of 150 volts to energize the relay. If the voltage to be monitored exceeds 150 volts, then the relay energizes. To de-energize the relay, the voltage of the system should fall to 80% of the overvoltage set value. That is, if the voltage reaches 120 volts only, the relay will de-energize. Thus, you have learnt about the characteristics of under and over voltage relays.